You're watching News 24 Live. The English Premier League transfer window closed last night at 8 p.m. South African time. I've got our football analysts, Wade Pretorius and Tashrik Vardin from Sport 24 alongside us, where they're going to rate the respective clubs' recruitments. We're going to play a little bit of a game, gents. Good afternoon. Thanks very much for coming in. Cool, Nick. Thanks, Nick. Uh, just before we start, Wade, Tash, um, a, a sort of normal run-of-the-mill transfer window, any big shocks, any drama, Wade? Well, drama, David De Gea's uh, collapse move, the mudslinging between Real Madrid and Man United that followed. You know, he was pretty much guaranteed his move, and then there was this blame game of, of who didn't send the papers to, the, to FIFA in time and things like that. So that's been the major drama. The other interesting point is, yeah, the transfer record, Money spent was broken again, mm. but that's unsurprising when you've got Man City and Man United slashing the cash on just about anybody and everybody. Okay. Yeah. Right, guys. Well, let's uh, have a look at the, the main Premier League contenders. We're going to start with Arsenal. Tash, out of 10, how do you rate their transfers, their recruitment? And Four. I would have liked them to get a defender as well. And I think uh, Peter Cech was a good recruit uh, on Arsenal Vegas side, but another solid defender and perhaps a midfielder as well. Yeah. Four. Four. Right. I'm, I'm four as well, so four. we agree on something, which is good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they didn't sign a striker. Shocking. Okay. Yeah. Poor at Arsenal. All right. Chelsea. I'll Wade. start. Uh, seven. Tash? Mm, six. I would have liked him to get the defender in as well, because uh, Teddy is slacking at the back, uh, as well as for Kale at times. Uh, they brought in a youngster, uh, which they brought in last season, and he's been doing okay, Zuma. But another defender, so yeah. Okay. Liverpool, Tash, out of 10? Mm. Let's give them a six. You wait. <laughs> He's wearing his Man United shirt under there. Um, <laughs> I think they did the best in the, in the league this season. I'm going to give them a nine. Okay, why do you say that? Well, they signed a lot of players, but they signed quality. The left and right backs, both brilliant. Uh, they brought in Teke, one of the, one of the be uh, best proven goal scorers in the league. They've got James Milner in. Solid and steady, and then Firmino is a bit of a up in the air. Will he succeed? Won't he? So yeah, I'm going to give Liverpool a strong nine out of ten. Okay, that's going to be hard to beat. Uh, next up, Man City. What do you give Man City out of ten? I'm going to give them an eight and a half. You Tash? I'm giving them a six. Okay, why a six? Um, why a six? Because they didn't do that well, but not did that bad as well. So it's okay, type of okay recruitment that they brought in. But um, at the same time, I'll just give them a six, yeah. Wait. They kept Yaya Torre. That's good enough for some bonus points for me. And then, yeah, they didn't need players, but mm. they signed Sterling and De Bruyne, which means that they're better than they were last season. Okay. Tash, Man United. Okay. Oof. Awful, awful. Keep your heart really out of it. Awful. Um, I'm going to go for, I'm going to give them a four. A four? Yeah, there's lots of areas that they needed to improve on. Um, they brought in a striker, uh, someone that from Marshall, who I'm clueless about, a uh, youngster, 19 years old. Uh, would have liked him to bring in more experienced striker. Um, in terms of defensive thing, they brought in Sergio Romero, who has been horrible <laughs> so far. And, um, but the good thing is they kept De Gea. Now the good thing about that is, can they get him to sign a contract? Because he is in his last uh, season. Unless Real Madrid silently told him, you know what, stay your year and see your contract out and we get you on the free. Um, I would have liked him to get a, another central defender as well. Mm. But it seems like um, Louis van Gaal is a bit of a bias when it comes to Netherlands players. <laughs> okay. Wade, do you agree? Uh, yeah, I'd give them slightly lower, give them a three. <laughs> I think uh, the De Gea saga was you know, ridiculous. Why agree to sell him on the final day when you could have sold him in July and bought uh, a proven, uh, mm. a proven goalkeeper. Mm. Uh, you let Van Persie go, um, and that means there's so much pressure on Rooney to sort of guard those uh, James Wilson and uh, Anthony Marshall, um, you know, and then, yeah, no centre back. And also that Ramos chase. I mean, there's no way Ramos was going to join yeah. Man United. He's been, no way. he's been, he's through and through Real mm. Madrid. Just all because he wanted an increase. Yeah, Man United got played once yeah, again. Okay. All right, and then Spurs. What do you give Spurs? Uh, Spurs, yeah, they were pretty average. I'd give them, give them a five. Yeah, I'd give them a you five touch. as well. Um, they got rid of a, a 30 million striker that they bought, um, which they sold him for probably less than 15. 
I think it was like 10 million, uh, Salgado. Um, I would have liked him to get in another striker, uh, mm. get, get some competition for Kane. Okay. All right, and then the next uh, little angle on this, uh, Wade, I'm going to go back to you. Who do you think were the three best signings in this transfer window and the three that you think are doomed to fail? Okay, so three best. Andre Ayew, Swansea, Ghanaian, mm. uh, lighting up the Premiership as we speak. Mm. He's done really well. Uh, another one, Matteo Damian, Manchester United. I am a bit biased, but he's been a great right back. Probably the best one we've had since uh, Gary Neville. And uh, number three, best signing, uh, I'm going to give it to Arsenal. Getting Peter Cech off, uh, mm. off of Chelsea for 10 million, uh, that turns him into a pretty strong, uh, strong competitor going in further in the league. My three worst. The other end of the scale, yeah. <laughs> three worst. Uh, that Mitrovic chap from Newcastle. He's a walking yellow card. He's got two yellow cards and one red card in his, in his short career. I think uh, that was a waste of money on him. Um, my next one, uh, Falcao. Huge gamble at Chelsea to take him after, <laughs> his, after his season last year. And then lastly, um, purely based on price, uh, he might prove me wrong, but I reckon this Martial chap is uh, a big concern for United. 36 million, most expensive teenager in the world. It's a lot of pressure to handle in the Premier League. 